Welcome to the assembly video for the Jump King Family Rebounder Combo. This video will walk you step by step through the process of putting together your new rebounder. Before starting, make sure you have these items to help in assembly of the rebounder. Find a well lit open area to assemble the rebounder. You want to always keep children away from the rebounder until fully assembled. Frame assembly. Lay out all tubes, connectors, legs, and plastic foot pads. You should have six pod connectors, six top tubes, six legs, and six plastic foot pads. Grab your screwdriver and self-tapping screws. Press the connector onto the tube, match up the screw holes, and take your screwdriver and screw one of your self-tapping screws into the hole. Take the leg assembly and insert the plastic foot pad on the other. Continue doing this with the other legs until you have six leg assemblies. Grab two pod connector leg assemblies and two top tubes. Insert the first top tube into the leg assembly. Make sure the top tube spring holes are in line with the pod connector hole as shown. Now attach another leg assembly to the other end of the top tube. Take the final top tube and insert it into the end of the second leg assembly. Repeat this with the remaining sections. When you're finished, you should have three sections that look like this. This step requires two people. During this step, you will connect the three sections together to complete the frame assembly. Take two sections and place the pod connector on one section to the top bar of the other section. Now take the final section and connect it to the other two. The frame should now be complete. Bed and pad assembly. Check to make sure you have all the springs, bed and pad. Lay the bed on the ground inside of the assembled frame. Make sure that the Jump King printing logo is facing up. Position the hexagonal shape of the bed to the frame shape. During this step, you will attach the bed to the frame using the included springs. You will need the gloves and spring pulling tool for this step to prevent possible pinching. Hook a spring to the bed and using the spring pulling tool, pull the spring from the bed to the whole slot in the frame with even spring tension. Attach the springs in this order. This will help to distribute the tension, making assembly easier. Once the 12 springs have been attached correctly, the remaining springs can then be attached. When completed, your frame and bed should look like this. Lay the frame pad on the frame. Adjust the position of the frame pad so the notches are aligned with the legs. Be sure six enclosure frame openings are fitted to the pod connector position. Do not use the rebounder without the frame pad, which is designed to reduce the likelihood of injury to the user from coming in contact with the rebounder frame. The rebounder is now fully assembled. Make sure that all parts are securely attached. Enclosure assembly. You are now ready to assemble the safety enclosure for your rebounder. Lay out all enclosure tubes, both top and bottom, as well as six screws. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver for this step. Take the enclosure top tube and bottom tube. Find the tapered end of the bottom tube and insert it into the top tube. Rotate the top tube and bottom tube so the screw holes align. Then screw the tubes together using a self-tapping screw. Repeat this with the remaining five bottom tubes and top tubes so you have six identical enclosure tube assemblies. Take a completed enclosure tube assembly 
and insert into pod connectors on the completed rebounder. Now get the netting, G4 poles, and pole connectors for the enclosure. Spread the netting on the rebounder bed Insert each G4 pole into the openings of sleeve on the netting. Use the connectors to connect each pole together. The top sleeve of the netting will become a hexagonal shape. Connect the top sleeve with pole connectors to the enclosure poles. They will snap into place. Next, grab the zip ties. Locate the hole in the bed closest to the door. Thread one end of the zip tie through the lower edge of the netting, then through the hole into the rebounder bed. Then bring in around and through the zip tie head. Pull tightly. Continue around the rebounder until the entire enclosure is fastened to the rebounder bed. Your Jump King Family Rebounder Combo is now fully assembled make sure all parts are securely attached.